Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Nilarama and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Now today is a very special episode because the Death Slinger, the new killer to Dead by Daylight, is finally here. Now, he's a cowboy. That's that's great. He's a cowboy, and his power is the Redeemer. The Death Slinger's ingenuity affords him the ability to reel in bounties with a unique invention, a heavily modified hybrid rifle that replaces conventional ammunition with a razor-sharp spear affixed to a chain. So the Redeemer, pretty much, it's just point, shoot, reel in. And as a survivor, you got to have to wiggle and try to break the chain off of uh, environmental objects. It's really simple. And he's got to reload after every time. You can read that if you want, but that's the, that's the gist of it. But it's really cool. He's another ranged killer. I've played a little bit. He's The hitboxes are not like Huntress, so he's so much fun to play as and against. So much fun. And honestly, that's all you can ask for. His perks are Hex Retribution, a hex that lashes out upon its destruction. Those who cross your path will be punished. And also, just to say, these are all tier 1, so... Any survivor who cleanses a dull totem will suffer from the oblivious status effect for 35 seconds. If any hex totem is cleansed, including this one, the auras of all survivors are revealed for 10 seconds. Dead Man's Switch. You become obsessed with one survivor. After hooking the obsession, Dead Man's Switch activates for the next 35 seconds. While activated, any survivor that stops repairing a generator before it's fully repaired causes the entity to block the generator until Dead Man's Switch effects end. And the affected generators are highlighted by White Aura, and you can only be obsessed with one survivor. And then Gearhead. You've got an ear for well-oiled gears. After hitting a survivor two times either basic attack, Gearhead activates for 35 seconds. Each time a survivor completes a good or great skill check while repairing, the generator will be revealed by a yellow aura for as long as it's being repaired. That's his perks. He's so fun. So much fun. And now this is the survivor. She's a Zarina Cassier. She looks pretty cool. Uh, that's her customization if you buy the chapter. It's, it's not much, but, you know, it might look good with some of the other recolors. And if you don't like the red and you like the blue, you know, I, I would say actually buy the chapter. But anyway, Zarina, she is a plucky documentarian able to use her street smarts to avoid detection and greatly assist other survivors. Her personal perks, off the record, red herring, and for the people, help her remain hidden in the face of danger, create distractions, and quickly heal others by forgoing her own safety. And what her perks do is, off the record, you've learned that a quiet approach is sometimes the best. Once you've unhooked or escaped from the hook, off the record activates for 60 seconds. While off the record is activated, your aura will not be shown to the killer and grunts of pain caused by injuries are reduced by 100%. Red Herring, you've noticed that people pay attention to whatever makes the loudest noise. After repairing a generator for at least 3 seconds, it will be highlighted to you with a yellow aura, the generator stays highlighted until it's fully repaired or you repair a new generator or enter a locker. Entering any locker will trigger a loud noise notification for the killer at the highlighted generator's location. So it goes pop, so the killer will go over there. And then for the people, you risk life and injury for others. For the people is only active while at full health. Press the active ability button while healing another survivor without a medkit to instantly heal them from dying to injured and from injured to healthy. You become injured or receive a broke status effect for 110 seconds. You come the obsession. Equipping this perk decreases your chance to be the obsession at the start of the trial. So I think red herring is a super, super, super good perk. It's great. And also, the map is wonderful. We go there. It's super spectacular. A slam dunk in my opinion. But anyway, I hope you enjoy what's in store. Oh, we're at Dead Dog Saloon, the Grave of Glenvale. New map. I've literally only gotten this map like three times ever since I've been on the PTB. Super excited. Let's go. Oh. Oh, there's like rattlesnake noises and and uh, bitches running away and Nia's, you know, sun. It's great. Great map. We love. Drop downs. Shit, I thought he wouldn't see me. Oh my god, he's got Franklin's, the son of a bitch. Yeah, you gotta reload. You gotta reload.
don't know where he is. He's right there. Bye. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I just ran into some shit. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> His laugh, though. There are breakable walls on this map that he did not utilize. Oh, hi, uh, Zarina. <gasps> you almost did it! We, we love the spirit. Oh. We love the spirit. We really, really do. Oh, hi, Nia. Okay, now let's get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go try to find my med kit. It's, it's not over here. Heal me, please. Thank you. She's keeping them busy. Let's go. We really have to stand someone who's bold enough to play basic Nia. We really do. I don't know if we should do this, but... Oh, she's in the basement. So the basement is at the back of the saloon. Oh, we can't let go. We can't let go. He's got the perk that if you let go when the obsession is hooked, uh, it, uh... Oh my god, if this Nia lets go, we're fucked. It'll block it, the entity will. Thank you, Nia. <laughs> I guess I'll go save. Oh, you didn't see me. <laughs> I got her. What a nice gentleman. He didn't come back. Where is it? It's just, where's my big kid? It's just fucking gone, okay? It's just gone. Jesus Christ. I'm assuming he's chasing after. Yup, he's got her. I really hope there's another gen over here somewhere. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. We might have three gen strat. But I'm just gonna go save. You were good to me, Nia. That's why I'm getting you. I 
I don't know if he's got barbecue. Yeah, there's one gen here, one gen over there, I see. Oh, is he just fucking- is he murdering her? <gasps> he's murdering her! Oh my god. That is not something you want to hear. <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah, please run him back there. Don't run. Oh my Jesus Christ, he's gonna fucking murder her too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, he's putting her in the good light! Jesus Christ. My hands are literally sweating. Oh god, he's like right there. Please, please, please! Nope. No, no, no. Oh my god, did I actually lose him? I'm literally pounding right now. My heart is. Come on, give me a medkit, please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I made it! Look at it, it's the sunset! I fucking made it! I made it! I made it! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Fucking, I get to yee another haw today! Yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, it's gonna be all for this video. I really, really, really like this new chapter. The survivor's perks are cool, the killer's power is great, the map is stunning, and all of it's super fun. And that's really all we can ask for, you know? But before I go, I'm gonna leave you with a little something. Just a little, what happens if I didn't escape? But as always, if you liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you already haven't. But until then, see you later.